Hello guys, and welcome to my TypeScript series when I'm showing you how to code with TypeScript. In this episode, I will show you how to do uh, inheritance in TypeScript. Those of you who come from C Sharp or Java background, they'll probably understand it very quickly. But those of you who come from the prototype uh, inheritance in JavaScript, it will get some time used to it. So let's start. So as always, let's start by creating a file. We'll call it inheritance. Inheritance. Yes. Okay. So let's start by creating an interface of animal. Interface I animal. Those of you who are not familiar with interfaces can click the button uh, above and watch the episode about interfaces in TypeScript. Let's add a read only number of legs to represent the number of legs of an animal and create a make sound function that will make the animal make a sound and we'll need to feed our animals so we'll give the animals some food to eat and this is our simple interface representing an animal now we'll create a function that we'll call uh, later on and the function is gonna be eat, uh, test animal Okay, that will receive an animal it will log the number of legs of an animal it will make a sound of an animal animal make sound and it will feed the animal with milk and with meat. Eat food with milk. Meat. Okay, and we will call this function whenever we create an animal to see what happens. Now let's implement the, the interface with an abstract class abstract class animal it will implement the i animal interface okay abstract class is uh, is actually a class a simple class that uh, you cannot create an instance of that class so for example if you're trying to do new animal right now it will tell you that it cannot create an instance of the abstract class animal because this is what actually an abstract means. Now let's implement the interface. We will add the number of legs as a public number of legs, number of legs as a public variable, and it will be a number. I will add it here a number. I will add the make sound function but it will be an abstract function make sound what it actually means it means that uh, for now I don't know how to implement it because every animal should do a different sound and because the class is abstract class you can add the methods without implementation if you add the abstract keyword to them now the eat food function will receive food to eat and it will be a string and it will log uh, I don't know it will eat the food so it will make some uh, yummy sound I don't know Till now we didn't see any new stuff, any new inheritance stuff and now this is the first time I will show you how to do inheritance. So I'm gonna create a dog class and it will extend the animal class. Now 
what I'm gonna do is make sure that the animal class that I'm extending, that I'm inheriting, is initialized properly. So I'm gonna create an, a default constructor and it will yell at me because uh, I must call the super constructor, the constructor of my inherited class, the class that I'm inheriting, with a call of a super. The constructor of an animal is uh, wanting me to pass the number of legs and because I'm a dog I know that I will have four legs. The next thing that I need to do is to implement the abstract make sound method uh, because the dog is not an abstract class if I will make it abstract it will be okay because abstract classes can have abstract methods without any implementation but because it is not an abstract class I must and create the make sound method and implement it and I will implement with a dog sound Woof. next thing that I will do I don't have to do it but I will do it for the purpose of showing you and this thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually change the eat food method a little bit and what I will do is I'm gonna check if the food is not meat I will log yuck because my dog doesn't really like anything but meat and that's it and I will return otherwise I will call the default eat food method with the same food of the animal and let's test animal let's test our animal with new dog compile it and run it I'm just compiling it right now and it compiled and I'm gonna run it source inheritance.js and what I will see is okay the number of legs is 4, as expected, because our dog has 4 legs. The sound it makes is woof, because the make sound, this is what it does. When I'm calling it with milk, it doesn't like the food, so it logs yuck. And when I'm calling it with meat, it actually eats the meat, because our dog loves the meat. The same thing that I did over here with the eat food function, uh, I overrode the method and did my own logic here. The same thing I can do with uh, properties with get and set functions. Uh, I can override the getter or the setter and do some other logic there too. Now let's look how the dog class is implemented actually in JavaScript. Uh, so this is our test animal function, this is our animal class, and this is our dog class. You can see that it uses the underscore underscore extend function, and it is actually a function that, that is generated in the, inside the JavaScript file, which does a prototype inheritance of uh, the object. You can see here that it assigns the prototype. Uh, you can go deeply into the implementation uh, yourself. I will not uh, do it now. What it does, it calls the extend method with the new dog class and the super class, uh, which is an animal you can see here. And this is the, our constructor of the dog, the make sound method we did, the eat food uh, method we did. The way it calls the super method of the animal is actually using the eat food function that's on the animal prototype and it calls this with the this uh, which is actually the dog here so this is actually what it would look like if you use JavaScript and I think that looking on the class declaration on the class implementation of all the functions all the constructors you can see that it is much much clearer and much uh, more uh, readable than uh, using the old ES5 JavaScript method. Uh, you can actually do the same thing uh, that I did here with TypeScript, including the class, the extends, 
the constructor and the super uh, calls uh, they are all available in the new ES6 version as well. To summarize, what we've seen today is how to create an abstract class, a class without an implementation, edit uh, an abstract method, how to inherit from that abstract class, and it doesn't even have to be the abstract class, the inheritance looks the same, how to override methods and call the uh, the super methods of the class we inherited from and how to change the constructor and call the super constructor ourselves. You have watched an episode about inheritance in TypeScript. Let me know what you think about it by leaving the comment down below. You can watch more TypeScript videos by clicking the button over here. If you want to watch other code related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you on the next episode of Program Artist!